Hello again, Zero K fans, and welcome back to more of this team exhibition match setup. This is going to be the last game for today, which is going to be a match between Randy and Exist versus Kingstead and Roar on Ravaged. Let us begin. Wait. I gave the sound to the wrong Zero K version. There we go. Anyway. So yeah, Roar and Kingstead going for spiders and gunships while the same time. No, we're on the right speed. Same time, Exist and Randy going for. Spiders and... What speed is this game running at? No, it's 1.0. Okay, that was weird. So gunships and airplanes. And why does everything seem faster than usual? Eh, mostly because the framework was lower last time. Okay, so back to this. Spiders on both sides. Spiders and air versus spiders and gunships. It says, was a part of a series of games between Randy... Well, between pros and high-level players. Kingstown and Rar in particular were playing a few of these. And this looked like it was likely the best one. So right off the bat, a couple of ravens coming up here, and that should be okay. I mean, Kingstad does have tarantulas being built up, so they are prepared. Rar could set up tridents if they wanted to, but instead going for the pickets, going for a bit of light defense. Light static defense. Which work out okay. And, ooh, nice juke by that weaver. Very nicely done to avoid the bombs coming down there. So it looks like Kingstad will be able to do a lot of... A lot of building over here in this southeast corner, but at the same time, the fleas coming around the side, they will be stopped by the Venoms, but ultimately, there's only that. That's about it, really, other than the Sag Defense is going to actually stop fleas. So Kingstead should have a few options offensively, just considering that they don't have to deal with all that much in terms of actual defense on the ground. Now with the Tarantula up, Kingstead will be able to push forward confidently, seeing as the Raven can't really stop them. It's going to try! Sure is going to try. Ooh, actually, he's going to be able to succeed, too. Putting the Weaver down to 1 HP. Well, just about 1 HP. 19 HP. But still, that's effectively 1 HP, considering. Bit of a repair would not be remiss on that one. But ultimately, that was essentially a free Raven. Like a free Raven kill on top of the reclaim that that provides, which is a good 120 medal off that. So, good job there. The Northeast team is doing a fine job keeping themselves in this. But the Pro team building extremely rapidly. I'm actually quite impressed by how quickly they're building up. And we do have, looks like, a Hercules coming. Ooh, are we doing a calm drop? Are we doing a calm nab? What are we doing with this? This is going to be interesting. I mean, the fleas coming in here from the pro team, from Exist, are providing a bit of a threat. Might be able to take out a few of these metal extractors. And that Weaver still has not been repaired at all, so one shot will kill it. The Tarantula acting as a buffer. But ultimately, the two of them will have to escape. And the Weaver not able to do so. Being torn apart by that Venom, and ultimately losing this expansion over to the eastern side of the map. Not the biggest deal, all things considered. The Pro Team has managed to keep themselves alive reasonably long, despite that. And on top of that, the Hercules just setting... Oh, actually, never... Okay, so it's a raiding force. Interesting. Are we seeing Tarantulas as a response? Looks like no, not yet. That is not the concern. They, I guess they figured the Tarantulas are not needed. Kingstad having their own... Exist finally... Okay, there's Exist going to the Tarantulas. Might have thought they could deal with it by other means, but clearly the answer is no. This Hercules is doing quite a lot of damage. I never really thought of just using the Hercules as a as an attack platform. But yeah, there you go. It just it has its lasers. It can deal damage. It doesn't really need to be used to pick up anything. And it could actually be used to pick up Exist's commander and drop it into the sea. Like I said, that is an old strategy. The ComNav strategy is classic. I don't know if that's going to happen, because I don't think they're confident they're going to be able to get in the back lines and pull it off. But... If they did, that would be amazing. Follow up with a few more spider forces on the ground. Managing to get a bit of damage in here. Unfortunately, not able to take out enough to really deal enough meaningful damage to make mileage work. But they didn't manage to go to the base. But they did manage to at least tear apart a few of the metal extractors. Get some revenge. But at the same time, Randy is expanding like mad over to the northwest side of the map. Like the entire western side of the map belongs to Randy right now. Kingstad's going to have to deal with this, but at this point, they don't really have the resources or the means or the units. They are setting up Hermes to try to do that, and as well, they do have the Hercules to try to help out a bit here, but ultimately, it's not going to have much of a chance. Between the Hawk... The oh, Raptor, sorry, they got renamed. Between the Raptor and the Tarantula, it goes down, finally taken out by Randy's picket. And now Kingstad and Randy are forced to meet up, and Randy has already upgraded beam lasers on top of that, so Kingstad's commander is essentially going to be forced to contending as two lotuses or run and they choose to run which i think is the prudent choice but ultimately the pro team they are just 
slowly but surely, or rapidly but surely, grabbing every single thing that they can. All the metal extractors belong to them. However, there's the comm nab. There it is! Randy's commander being nabbed, probably pulled into the base. Yeah, it looks like that is the plan. Pull it into the base and tear it apart there. I still think throw it into the sea is the better option, but commanders can operate from there. Still, though, that is the commander down, so that's an opening. That could be the northwest side being taken out. There's no forces coming in to deal with that, and the commander being torn apart by the... Right, the Hercules can kill things it's transporting, so that's Randy's commander killed as reclaim. One commander down. The second one could go as well. I figured a calm nab would happen, and that's exactly what happened. So, Rar able to get a good 500 metal reclaim off that. Not quite enough to even out the economy difference, but enough to at least provide a bit of parity. And with that, again, the northwest side is completely undefended. The commander was all there was tearing, taking all these expansions. The metal extractors haven't really got much in the way of defenses. Yeah, a couple a picket and a lotus, that's it. That's not enough. Like, this group of hermits here could take care of it. So, really... This is just a matter of when Kingstead decides to go for it and deal with it, but it looks like Randy does have a few a few cranes coming in to try to try to basically set up a backup force. But Rar transporting the commander in here, and that is going to be how they deal with these lotuses. Drop the commander in here, rocket everything dead. Ooh, incendiary rockets. Of course, of course, it's Rar. What am I saying? This is Rar. Rar is the commander player. Back in form, too. I haven't seen Rar play commander-oriented strategy in a while now. Good to see they still have that available, but it's also good to see that they're tempering that with a good unit-based and economy-based strategy at the same time, or at least they have their teammate providing that for them. At least they're tempering that with a teammate, because that's the only way I can really describe it. Their only unit right now is the commander and the two transports, or the one transport at this point. The one other one was smashed. But yeah, the transport and the commander is the only thing they've got left, but hey, they have a teammate covering for them, so they can go hand with the comm play. And Kingstead able to take the northeast side of the map as a result. It's one little plateau still being contested. And Exist Commander is up front trying to stop that. And wisely building up a lot of pickets to make sure that nothing gets them. And nothing nabs them out of there. But ultimately, Rar has managed to start taking out Randy's economy. And while there is a shieldbot factory to help provide a little bit of forward pressure, at this point, the map is just about split half and half. Ooh, nice napalm bomber. Well placed to stop anything from coming in, and also this wall well placed to help stop the recklesses from actually dealing damage. A lot of really smart play on that. I bear in mind the terraforming will not stop the spiders from getting in or out, but it will stop the missiles from triply getting in or out. So hey, a wall is a wall. Just used for the purpose of stopping projectiles for the first time. Yeah, the one concern though is how is this going to work? Like Randy is able to tear apart more and more of the base that that Randy. Sorry, Rar is able to tear apart more and more of Randy's old base. That's actually working out really well. But of course, now the rogues coming in here, they're going to be contending with Rar essentially being one of them, but stronger. Like rockets, yes, but also burning rockets. Fire rockets. At the same time, Exist having a much more successful time in the eastern side of the map, tearing apart what Kingstad had built up, but that's not Kingstad's main concern. Kingstad's clearly mainly concerned about the center of the map and wanting to make sure to maintain, th maintain this line. Or more like this line. They want that line to... They want this line to be maintained, because if they have that, then it's going to be enough for them to work with. Their economies are just about on par. Rar is doing a great job providing pressure in the back lines and making it very difficult for Randy to truly build up, especially with, oh, with Splash and Fire. And that is just cruel, but it's working, and the Shieldbot Factory can very easily go down. Two more rockets will take that out, at the same time, Kingstead finding some room. They actually are managing to maintain that line and deal a bit of damage, keeping Exist from getting any mileage, while at the same time, Rar is able to get all the value in the world in the back lines. That factory's gone. The rays are still there, but it doesn't really matter. As long as this Hercules is not in the front lines, it's fine. And Rar's commander, however, trying to find a good spot to work from, because these rogues are still doing the exact thing I thought they would, which is providing enough of a threat that Rar's commander cannot trivially engage. I mean, they're able to take out a few of them every once in a while, as soon as they get in range, but ultimately there's only so much that can be done, and I kind of want to see Rar take their commander on their Hercules and start flying around in the back lines. Like, actually get into Randy's base and start really making their life miserable on that. Because if they pull that off, I could see there being enough damage dealt that they're actually going to be fully successful. Because at this point, Exist is actually... Exist is having a bit of a tough time. I, everything's going back and forth, and King Shad's able to maintain... Able to maintain quite a bit of position. 
While at the same time, Rar trying to secure the position over in this plateau, losing the position over in the pit, but at least they have a bit of a front line they can work with. If this cliff gets, gets taken out, then I can see Northeast winning this game. They do have a situation that allows them to get around the back lines here. The Flea's coming in. They won't manage to last long. But they're able to do some damage, especially against these Recluses. And the Weaver as well. If that Weaver comes in there, which it kind of knows that there's a lot, of a lot of Fleas, but they're relying on the Pickets. They think, okay, the Pickets are going to protect me. That's fine. But with the Recluses coming in from Kingstead, I don't see that being necessarily a long-term strategy that's actually going to work. And also, oh, never mind. Exist Commander has also been killed. So both Commanders are down, but Exist is able to reclaim their own Commander. However, the Pro Commanders being dead does mean that they don't have anywhere near the level of forward support. And we've seen already that without that forward support, that ability to construct and defend at the same time, Rar can push in there, and Kingstead not so much. Kingstead's definitely not playing that forward strategy the way Rar is, but still, Rar is still there. Rar still has that going for them. They have the Caretaker repairing them as well, which is a nice thing to have, just to keep things secure. And while they have lost that pit, Kingstead, they can just send in a few units around the back to deal with that. It's only a couple of rogues. And this tank factory, it's just now done, but still, that was a lot that had to be built up in the process. Although, that being said, a crab is on the way to the southwest plateau, or the center west plateau. Might not be the best position, considering that there's a lot of Rexos going in here, and a lot of Rexos managing to take on a lot of the Weavers, stopping the reclaim of the commander, but not really too much. The reclaim of the commander was largely successful. Exist, they recoup some of their loss. But that's still not something Kingstad is allowing to happen for any longer, and certainly something that Kingstad is trying to maintain. They want this position. If they can take out the pickets, they have this position, but they don't really have the tools with which to do so. Ooh. Nice. I'm actually surprised we didn't see this earlier. The Hercules coming in around the back to the to get rid of this. Because the thing is, is that this there was a bunch of Vandals. Those Vandals have largely been destroyed. Rar's commander took them out. So no surprise that we do see the Hercules coming in now. But yeah, with that... This Northwest Pit can be retaken. Kingstead will be able to get their economy back up. And it's worth noting, Northeast has been ahead on economy by at least 10 metal per second for the last five... Well, maybe not five minutes. The last three or four minutes. And that is showing. Slowly but surely, they're winning the attrition battle over to the eastern side of the map. Rar, of course, has just been able to pump this commander up to ridiculous levels. Like ridiculous range. Double rockets with napalm warheads. Ability to repair themselves easily. Like, they are... They're doing fine getting rid of these defenses. The only downside might be this tank. Like, the Pillager is coming in to try to stop them, not to mention the Stinger. So there are still some challenges, but that Stinger should go down in two or three volleys. Thanks to the fact that there is the reload increase as well. They do have... What part is that? That is the... Actually, no, they don't have the reload time increase. Or decrease, rather. Three second reload time. But anyway, the commander is still pulled out of pulled out of the line of fire after destroying most of the defenses. So right now, this pillager is still being a problem. Randy is able to get some some value off that, but it doesn't really matter. The Hercules is able to get in the back lines. The commander is able to repair. They do have auto repair, so they just have to wait a little bit. Possibly build another caretaker just to help even further. But yeah, they are they are doing fine as long as Kingstack can hold the line in the meantime. Again, this line right about here, then they're fine. If they can actually help out get rid of some of Randy's forces, that's even better. But I don't necessarily see that happening immediately. I think Rar is going to be the one having to deal with that once their commander is back up. And that will take a little while. Just judging by the amount of time, yeah, it looks like it's going to take another minute and a half if they don't use a caretaker to repair them. Oh, but, okay, this is, this is interesting. I don't see this working especially well, but the fleet should be able to find something. I mean, the sag fence will stop them, but they should get rid of at least one pillager in the process. And considering the value, that's not bad. Considering the amount of money that costs... Actually, come to think of it... Wow, that's enough fleas that it doesn't even matter. The Lotus doesn't even matter. The fleas are able to wreck everything up. And the Minotaur... I Okay, is that going to go down? that really going to go down? Well, with Kingstad's commander helping out, yeah, it could very well go down. The Lightning Rifle coming in there to try to help do some EMP damage. And there's Rar's commander... Oh, no, not Rar's commander. There's the crab. Taken away to be put into the ocean, presumably. So yeah, that Minotaur, that Minotaur is trying, did I say Reaper? I meant Minotaur. It's trying, but it's getting EMP'd, and this has just got to be amazingly cruel. Like, that was what, 50, 60 fleas just rushing in there? How often do you see that many fleas at all, let alone how many fleas just ends up tearing apart an entire army like that? I mean, the Blitz, that's the counter, you got it. Like, they're, the fleas can't deal with that, There's, it, the fire rate's too high on the Blitz. But... 
Still, against the pillagers, that was an amazingly on-point choice. Oh, and Kingstown has the Scorpion weapon. That's the multi-stunner. I mean, I noticed that, and I was like, what is the multi-stunner? I've never seen that before. That's the Scorpion D-gun. However, at the same time, Kingstown did not hold this line. I don't know that it matters, though, because Randy lost their pace in the process, and Rar's commander back on track. Not quite fully healed up yet, but still, they are in a strong enough position that they can attack. They can get rid of this factor here, and I don't know what Randy would have afterwards, because right now, Randy's lost almost everything thanks to this commander. Like, Rar's commander has done everything in their power to make it that much harder for their opponents to do anything. How, many, how often are they firing? No, still once every three seconds. But it doesn't even matter. That tank factory is pretty much dead. Double upgraded commanders and a bunch of fleas and blastings. All the tiny units against pretty high tech and, and well-built high economy force off the bat. But ultimately, not much came of it. Early anti-air coming in from Kingstown and Rar did a great job making Randy's early air investment not matter too much. And that one... Fa like that one... That one Hercules. That calm nab. I, uh, one of the, two, or two of the best players, well, okay, Randy's one of the best players, actually, I'm not sure how good exists, I haven't seen them much, but Randy is one of the best players in a team game, so, I mean, he equalizes skill a little bit, but still, it's harder to get cheese strategies off in a team game, and a mid-game Hercules Comnab sets up the conditions to win, on top of the commander play. Like, that is amazing. I mean, Rar, I mentioned before, he's they're the comm player. They are the commander player. They love upgrading their commander as high as they can, getting a boatload of stuff on it, and then just using it as their mainline force. So we look, all Rar has is a commander, and the support force for the commander being this one Hercules. After they got the drops, they didn't need a second Hercules. Let Kingstead use all that metal to build up the rest of their army. Hold this line, which, I mean, I mentioned they started to lose it near the end, but Exist at that point was fighting essentially alone. So, yeah, they held that line reasonably well. That's all they needed to do. Because at the same time, Rar was able to tear apart everything Randy had built up. Once Randy lost their commander, they had very little in the way of forward defensive forces, and they hadn't built up much of an army to back that up. Because, again, they started with air, so they could go in with the airplanes, but those are not great for taking ground. Gunships are way better because they can hold in place, but airplanes keep having to go back to refuel... So, it doesn't do as great of a job. A Thunderbird, however, might have actually done the trick. I could see that working alongside all the rogues. But at that point, the main focus was the, was building up the shield bots, and also, the economy advantage was in favor of the Northeast team. So anyway, with that, Northeast takes it. Very even match, but ultimately, it is a win for the Northeast team. Just off of some clever play... Clever use of Commander, and clever, very clever use of Hercules. Old Stool Calm Nap Cheese in the mid-game to take their ground. Anyway, with that, I'm going to wish everyone good night because we are done. I'm, this is it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone. And I will not be doing this next week because I will be doing, I think, because I'll be probably doing some of the rival stuff for Battle Right. There, there's a big league thing for battle right coming up and i and we're doing that so it's going to be that is going to be saturday actually going to be from thursday through sunday so yeah saturday gets covered with that which means probably no zero k cast on saturday anyway so that won't be for a couple weeks but for now thanks for watching everyone and have a good night